against former Yankee conference foe and 1AA team, Rhode Island. Early on, it was clear just how far the Huskies have come. First possession, march right down the field. Andre Dixon gets it. Scores like Rhodey's defense wasn't even there. And when the Rams get the ball, third down, Robert Vaughn jumps the route. Interception! One of his two pickoffs today, and the Huskies get the ball right back. Now, shortly after that, Jordan Todman scores the first of his three rushing touchdowns, and with under six minutes in, it is 14 Zipperuski Huskies. But UConn seems to relax and get sloppy. Cody Andrus gets indecisive, gets hit, and <coughs> coughs it up. URI gets the ball back, and then Chris Paul Etienne finds Taekwon Bynum. Blown coverage in the secondary. See you later time. 66 yards later, it's a 14-7 game. Still in the first quarter. More Husky miscues to come. When they get the ball back, Andrus finds freshman phenom Dwayne Difton. But he coughs the ball up to one of seven fumbles on the day. In fact, UConn lost three of them. Luckily, didn't hurt him. Cody Andrus was clicking with wide receiver Michael Smith. He had eight catches for 82 yards. It sets up a field goal here to make it 24 to 7 at the half. Second half now, UConn turns up the defense. Lawrence Wilson had two sacks. UConn holds the Rams to only 148 yards in the game, even with that long 66 yard TD. Andrus didn't stretch the field much, but here he finds the URI secondary napping. 50 yards to Mike Lang for the score. Andrus, 23 of 30 for 289, two TDs, and key, no picks. UConn racks up just under 200 yards on the ground. Robbie Fry, a couple of touchdowns in the second half to complete the route. 52 to 10, the final. UConn moves to three up and one down. Now here's Tim Lammers with more from the red. Lammers. With games like today's where the outcome really isn't in doubt, you have to look for what else you can take away from it. How many good things you can build off of and how many bad things you need to fix. Well, according to head coach Randy Etzel, there was more of the good than anything, but still a lot that needs to be worked on. Offensively, we did a great job the first two drives, and I uh, thought we lost a little bit of our edge uh, after those two drives. Yeah, they were sacking the box pretty good, and we had some really good game plan, you know, because we knew they were going to do that. So. Would you imagine after Cody going 23 for 30 today, maybe some teams are going to think twice about that in the future? Uh, I definitely think it will. Um, they have to, and if they don't, then uh, that's probably a mistake on their part. And as you see, the backs can get out of the backfield and make plays, you know, catching the ball. I thought he did a good job. I thought uh, the only thing that, again, that, that we got to work with him on is, you know, just holding the ball a little bit uh, long. Mike played, played a good game today, and, uh, you know, he was back out there running full speed and making some things happen. And no, I guess I was finding the zones, and uh, me and Cody was on the same page for most of the day today. On the flip side, the Huskies fumbled the ball seven times and lost three of those fumbles. I thought we had some guys today that were, you know, pressing a little bit to try to make some things happen. It's part of the game. Things are going to happen. Mistakes are going to happen. Or when you let up or you, you think, well, I'm not going to get hit hard, hard on this play. That one, that one pass, like, you know, we were disappointed, but, you know, we had to we had to jump back and keep playing defense. You know, you, you see that play, you're correcting mistakes off it, and you jump to the next play. A lot of positives, but... A lot of work we still got to do. For the record, Edsel has now coached more games at UConn than any other man. Today was his 122nd game. It's also the game he got back to 500. 61 up, 61 down. That's it for now at Rensselaer Field. I'm Tim Lammers. Let's send it back to Sports Ticket. Back to our top story, UConn's 52-10 triumph over Rhode Island, which makes the Huskies 3-1 heading into their bye week. Time now for Jake's Take. Hartford Current columnist Jeff Jacobs joins Sports Tickets. You know Lammers. Thank you, Mr. Rumbold. We're back here at Rensselaer Field, and it's time for Jake's Take, where Jeff Jacobs of the Hartford Current is here to give us his take. And you know what? The game wasn't really in doubt, so I'm curious to see what kind of interested you here. You know, Lammers, as, as interesting as I am about the quarterback controversy, and I'm going to call go out and call it a controversy because it will emerge that way. <laughs> I'm not sure who should play Zach or Cody, but I am equally interested in how the wide receiver thing is going to uh, uh, shake out. Uh, Randy Etzel has used half the UConn student body at the position this year, and uh, Michael Smith. Uh, he, said, he told me uh, we had a conversation that uh, uh, Kashif Moore clipped out a, a thing I, uh, I believe from the UConn student newspaper. I'm not, I don't, I'm not positive. He wasn't positive, but he said that they didn't have Division One uh, A uh, receivers, and they they go to the go back to it and, and look at it for motivation. Uh, I asked guys around today who's the fastest. They're telling me Lang, Kashif, and Kanye. 
Um, I like to line them up and see what see where that all ends up. But uh, I think having sticky fingers is as much a part of this as uh, as anything. Nick Williams, another freshman, he caught a couple balls at the end. I'm telling you, the, I can't keep track of how many of these wide receivers in in every bit as we watch how Cody and Zach progress. Let's keep an eye on these slew of wide receivers. All right, you know, I'm not letting you off the hook without a prediction. Who's going to wind up being the starting quarterback who plays the most this season, injuries aside? Well, who's Des starting the next game? Des McConn and I are arguing back for that. <laughs> Des thinks that Zach's got the job, should have the job next game against Pitt. Okay. Um, I, hate, I don't want to be limp here, but I'm telling you, I don't know who should be starting. Can I check back with you in a few days? Yeah, all right. Or you could just put it in one of your columns coming up. How about that? Well, that's why we work together, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeff Jacobs, that is Jake's take. The look out for his uh, column coming up tomorrow in the Hartford Current. Jeff, thanks for taking all the right. time. Thank you. Well, well, the Rhode Island Rams had a pretty good idea what to expect. They're one double A on the road against a very good UConn team. And the Huskies delivered on a beautiful day for football in Connecticut. Randy Etzel coaching his 122nd game of the Huskies, a school record. Also brings his record to 500 at UConn, 61 and 61. First quarter, Cody Andrews finds Andre Dixon, 18 yards to the end zone. Dixon, 98 yards, 17 carries in the touchdown. Later in the first, Jordan Todman, three-yard run for the score. He ran for 70 on 15 carries and a career-high three touchdowns. Rams bringing some defense. Matt Hansen gets to Endress. He fumbles. Alexis Robinson recovers. Rhode Island makes him pay. Their quarterback, Paul Etienne, finds Taekwon Bynum, 66 yards for the score. Cuts the UConn lead to 14-7. UConn led 24-7 at the half. Late third quarter now. Huskies running away with the ball game, as they should. Endress to Mike Lang. And that's followed by a huge run by Lang. He takes it 50 yards for the touchdown. Endress, 23 of 30, 289 yards and two touchdowns. UConn turns it up in the fourth. Endress hands to Robbie Fry. He scores a couple of touchdowns in the fourth. Huskies roll 52 to 10. They up their record to three and one. Kevin Nathan has more from Rentschler Field. The UConn-Rhode Island rivalry dates back to the 1890s. Nothing close about these teams today, though. UConn completely dominates statistically, improving to 3-1. and one. Offensively, we did a great job the first two drives, and I uh, thought we lost a little bit of our edge uh, after those two drives, uh, where our guys thought, you know, hey, this is, this is easy, and, and uh, probably didn't have the kind of intensity that we had for those first two drives. And then we got it back after halftime. And, uh, but all in all, like I said, it was a good good win for us. I really feel like uh, we let up a little bit. That's why our coach came in in the locker room like, hey, no matter who we playing, it's not about them, it's about us. We have to finish games the same way that we start them, strong and just, and just with, the, with high intensity. My role, I've just been playing my role, and my coach been the same telling me, hey, they teach me during practice what I just do on certain plays, and I've been doing it. Pretty smart coaching, wasn't it? You know? That's why I've been around for 20, 122 games. But, uh... <laughs> Next up for the Huskies, their Big East opener at Pittsburgh two weeks from Saturday. Reporting in East Hartford, Kevin Nathan, NBC Connecticut Sports. All right, local college scores. Cornell beat Yale 14 to 12. Central over Columbia. Wesleyan by four over Tufts. Trinity wins big over Bates today. New Haven a winner. And Southern.